Hi, my Gemini Collective. This is Lori of Your Empress Energy. I want to welcome you to the channel. I am going to do a three-month tea leaf card reading for you. <clears throat> I have pre-shuffled these uh, cards here, but what I'm going to do is do that in front of you so that you know everything has been shuffled. Get your energy going in here. Okay. So we'll just mix some of these all up here. And what I'm going to do is draw 10 cards approximately for each um, month and read your month, okay? Whoops, and these guys are slippery cards. <laughs> I don't think I've had slipperier. And I found that this is the best way to shuffle these cards, too. This is the absolute best way to shuffle these. Okay, so we'll do two stacks here. All right, so we'll take five and five, okay? Ten cards for each month. So can we get a message for the Gemini Collective here, please, for the month of May? Gemini cards or message for the month of May. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Got them all right now. Okay. And we'll take from the other deck. Five cards for the month of May for the Gemini Collective for the second half of the month of May. For the Gemini Collective, please. Okay. Looks like there's two there. There's a card upside down in the deck there, so we're going to take that. I did see it there somewhere. Okay. I don't think there's any more. So two more cards, please, to finish this message for the second half of May. Thank, thank you. Okay, so in the first half of May, we have the owl. Good advice from a wise person. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay, those definitely go together, and they're both animals. I like that. An opportunity or windfall. This is a different, there has been three different cards that talk about an opportunity or windfall coming out. One for Aries, one for Cancer, and now one for you, and they're all different cards. So the finger cards is a warning is warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. And then there's a new home, new attitude. So some of you will be moving, okay? You have a wise person who wants to give you some good advice, and it looks like you need to take that advice, okay? This shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business, could pertain. Wow, my throat chakra is locking up could pertain to this new opportunity and this person with the advice you really need to heed that advice i'm hearing okay so this is the first part of um the month the first two weeks of may okay so somebody is going to you're going to have some sort of opportunity and somebody is going to offer you some advice, and I strongly urge that you at least hear them out, okay? And it may lead to a new living environment, a, uh, a traveling for a new job, career, um, love or relationship. I don't know. You've got a lot of animals here for the month of May. That's really good, okay? I don't know why, but I just feel like it's really good. You've got eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. Kangaroo, unsettled times need to plan ahead, but it looks like you're going to conquer that. You are protected from negative forces beyond your control. I love getting that card. And there was another one that has a similar message. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem, okay? So it's got triumph over troubles or obstacles, but it says unsuccessful outcome to a problem. This looks like a bridge got burned, okay? Maybe struck by lightning, a tower moment. But this talks about triumphing and rising above your troubles, okay? So there's going to be some... <sighs> unsettled times you need to plan ahead 
okay, for the second half of May for um, a problem that's probably not going to come out the way you want it to. So have a plan B is what I'm hearing, okay? You will triumph over your troubles, but it's not going to turn out the way you think it is. But no matter what that situation is, you are protected, okay, from negative forces that are beyond your control, okay? So your angels, um, the divine, your ancestors, whoever it is, somebody has got your back, okay? And you will find love in the month of May, whether it be friendship, um, love of a new um, hobby for some of you, okay? But there will be love entering in the month of May. And that doesn't surprise me, okay? That doesn't surprise me at all. We've got your first card out for June. Needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. Hmm, that's fantastic news. Can we get four more cards for the first part of June, please? For the Gemini Collective. And you see how they're not popping at all right now. They're, the, your, the powers that be are thinking. They want this message to come out right. Rainbow. That's a good card. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. I, I take that more as somebody's going to try to coerce you into doing something. Okay, nobody's going to physically force you to do something. They may try, but I don't think that's what it's saying. I think it's more a, they're going to use words to try to get you to do what they want. Okay, and you don't want to do it. So like blackmail is what I'm hearing. Pleasure with a close friend. Yay. Happy times. And there's the last card for this month. Skull. Hidden secrets can't harm you. All right. Um, let's go ahead and see what the second half of June has in store for the Gemini Collective. Okay, so a fair man came out here. Dealings or relationships with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Okay, so that's the second half of June, Gemini. This could be anybody that you deal with. This could be a father figure, a brother, an uncle, a stranger. A lover, a change for the better, though. It sounds like they're bringing in a change for the better. Oh, you're also dealing with a dark man. Dealings or relationships with a man with dark complexion or hair. So somebody from possibly the Mediterranean area, um, Native American, grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. Hmm. One more card, please, for the second half of June for the Gemini Collective. What can we get here, please? One more message. Whoa! It's on the floor, but it's a bowl. Plenty of material things. Okay, so what we have here, needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted in the first part of the month. And the most difficult part of a situation is over. Someone will try to make you do... Okay, so I'm hearing that someone will try to do that. And secrets, okay? So they're using secrets, things you don't know, to try to coerce you into doing something that you do not want to do, okay? So in the first half of June, please pay attention to who is around you and who is saying what. And I'm getting that a friend is going to come in there and either they are going to grant you a, um, a, a sincere wish. That's what I'm hearing is that they personally will be granting you a sincere wish, a friend. Okay. This is a close friend. Okay. So that's the first half of June, my Gemini Collective. And we've, we know that we've got a change for the better is coming in. Your dealings with either, with, you may have a romantic, um, two different romance people, okay? You might have to make a choice between two, maybe a past and a, a future, or a future because I'm hearing a change for the better. And 
I'm thinking the the fair man may be somebody you've dealt with in the past. And then a change for the better comes in and you meet a dark uh, complexion or hair, dark haired man. Okay, situations in the balance that require careful handling. And that's why I'm thinking that this may be romantic. Okay. But it does look like you will gain some sort of material, um, have some sort of material gain in the second half of June. So I don't have more information about the, uh, the, pe the people, the men, but this is definitely... Uh, two male masculine energies that will be coming in your way in the second half of June. Okay. Okay. For July, we've already got the first card out. Chain of events that will affect your life. Hmm. That seems pretty important. Teapot. Deep friendships with someone of the same sex. That's a good card. It looks like you are developing really taking your friendships to a whole new level over the next couple of months. And I think it's because you are going through situations that this person or people see happening to you. And it just helps to, to bring a bigger bond in. Okay. We got bread, period of prosperity and abundance, victory in some endeavor, and news of a birth or a new business opportunity. So that's the first half of July, okay? So the chain of events that will affect your life, I'm hearing, is the news of a birth or a business opportunity, okay? And there will be a pros period of prosperity and abundance, and you will have victory in this endeavor, okay? And this friendship develops throughout the month of uh, July. So if you are a <clears throat> male um, Gemini watching this reading, you probably will have a couple of guys come into your life and if you um that are friends okay that's what this these messages are talking about is friendship okay and if you're female this may be um romance or just friendship okay but it, it definitely developing um deeper friendships okay that's two more cards there so we got the whole message for the last half of July goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth okay you got the forest with muddled unclear thinking and for some reason this card has come out aries cancer and now gemini key successful outcome to your problems the bat take care enemies are working against you okay this came out for cancer too turkey someone is behaving <laughs> these two cards both came out no no, I'm sorry. This one came out for Aries. Anyways, what you have is, <clears throat> excuse me, an increase in wealth or spiritual growth in the second half of July. Um, and that may be why you have some muddled, unclear thinking. Okay, because of a spiritual awakening, some of you need to reconnect with nature. That will help clear that muddled thinking. And I think you're awakening. I'm hearing you're awakening. Okay, so find a quiet space in nature, whatever nature you like, the beach, the forest, um, mountaintops, lakes, it doesn't matter. Wherever you feel connected to nature, you go there. Okay, and it, you will get clarity, and then your thinking will definitely be much better. Um, use caution in the last half of July. It looks like someone is acting like an idiot, um, and it says that they're working against you. And it, it could just be that, like, I'm hearing pettiness, okay? And it's not like somebody's trying to sabotage you. They're just pissed off at you. Sorry. They're angry with you over something. Um but there will be a successful outcome to this situation. So watch your words in the second part of July. It seems to me um, 
I'm hearing use the letters B-A-T that may give you a clue as to who this is. And I actually was just told it's Brat, B-R-A-T, okay? So if you have someone in your life that you call Brat or is acting like a Brat, that's what this is about. All right, my Gemini friends, um, until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.